Di pesta ulang tahun Pierre, semua senang. He's not just a dog to me, he's a member of the family. <laughs> Jasmine dan suaminya Daniel mengadopsi Pierre lima bulan lalu. Ia ditemukan berkeliaran di jalan. Walaupun tidak jelas berapa umurnya, Jasmine dan Daniel ingin membuat pesta ulang tahun Pierre di kafe ini. Like most dog owners, I care about the snacks and treats that I give my dog. Begitu pula Kevin Matthews, pemilik The Dog Chef Cafe, seorang foodie yang juga pencinta anjing. Ia menggunakan keterampilannya sebagai chef makanan manusia untuk menciptakan hidangan lezat untuk anjing. Dog friendly shortcake made with uh, um, no sugar at all, just a little honey and topped with a, uh, a raspberry reduction. Jika ini terlihat enak dimakan, memang benar. This is really, really good. Mm. I make it look like something that a human wants, but what's in there is what the dog actually needs. Ketika mengadopsi anjingnya 10 tahun lalu, Kevin baru menyadari bahwa makanan anjing kemasan tidak terbuat dari bahan yang sehat. Walaupun sudah banyak kemajuan, tetap saja makanan manusia lebih berkualitas. Our little pup is going to get his own little hamburger. And sweet potatoes. Menurut Kevin, hidangannya baik untuk kesehatan. If their skin is dry, I'm going to direct them to a coconut muffin because it's filled with the proper oils or one of the pumpkin muffins if they have a problem with digestion or they're constipated or something like that. Pesta Pierre sukses dan meriah. Baik anjing maupun pemiliknya sama-sama bahagia. And the dogs really seem to like the food. Pierre, he has a Twitter account and an Instagram. He is at Pierre Pup. So I will post pictures from his party today to share with his followers. Kevin sendiri senang bisa memberikan hidangan terbaik untuk anjing-anjing kesayangan. A dog spends it, its life making us happy. And what makes me happy is seeing a dog happy. Dari Baltimore, Maryland, tim VOA. <laughs>